Hey everyone, welcome back. Today we're taking a look at another brand new Epic Evolution that's currently out. The Gigantic Tracker. This is the Triceratops Wave 1. So we have this gray version, um, which we first saw in the promo shots, and also at San Diego Comic Con. So this is the one we have today. Pretty nice figure is the biome is the Arctic. And here is his barcode. I found these at Target. And then also the back of the box. Although another one from Wave, which I already reviewed. So as you can see, it has an action feature along with some rampaging act, uh, attack and evolution. So the cool thing about this one is maybe a few weeks after that, we saw another promo picture and boom we have this version same barcode same um item number so it's actually a running change versus a repaint of the same figure as far as like an assortment wise so it's not a separate skew it's the same skew um it has a running change so this one is the teal version Same scope, same everything, but the cool thing about this is they almost, it's like a separate figure because it has a brand new backing photo. And also, if you look at the back of the photo, it's exactly the same as the white one, but guess what? They changed the color of the figure. So this is a really strange one because Mattel usually, you know, if they were to repaint a figure, they would, they have no problem doing so and just making a new skew. But for this one, for whatever reason, they chose to release both at the same time. So the only thing we can come up with is has to be a running change. So what people found originally was this one first, and then this one came after. So what I think is, honestly, um, at the end of the day, this one would be the one that is actually going to be harder to find than this one. Because this one, actually, if you saw my... Uh, Instagram, you will see that there's actually about six of these versus two of these. So for your variant um, hunters, there you are. There's two different versions. So let's open it and check out these guys. All right. So the first one we're going to open is the first variant, the gray one that we have. That was a long pause in gray. Oh, these are actually pretty easy to get out of the package. So let's see. Take this figure off. Uh, maybe we'll put on the stand. All right. So, first thing first, it's definitely a bigger version of the Triceratops that we have been getting, but it's not as big as the um, Habitat Defender one that we have gotten. Now, that one's a big one, which we will review, compare the sizes together. All right, guys, so we opened it back up. Um, this is the first version that we got. Um, this is a brand new scope, as I said. It's not a new species, but a brand new scope that we got in Epic Evolution. Um, as first thing to look at it, it's actually a bigger size than the one we have gotten before in Roar Vore section. Because for the longest, we have been getting Roar Vore size Triceratops, which were kind of grossly undersized from a regular Triceratops. It was based off of the Jurassic Park one, which was kind of small for an adult Triceratops. And then we have gotten a better one, which we will review it with it and compare it with it. So, so far, this to show you how big it is compared to a human figure. So I love the color. Um, this is similar to the one that we have gotten um, back in Dino Rivals, which we will take a look at together. So it's actually pretty nice. I love the bigger head that this dinosaur comes with. So dinosaur um, deco wise, I think this one colored pretty well. It could use a few more little almond spots here, but other than that, I feel like it's um, colored very well. I love the gray contrast with um, the little brown here. The eyes are painted nicely, and the beak is actually painted, so that's pretty cool, along with the horn. As you can see, this one has a lot of details on this figure itself. We have a lot of spots that they could have painted a little bit more, 
which would make a fuller figure, but it didn't pop as well. But this one I prefer, honestly, over to the teal one that we're going to take a look at in a second. So the first thing we're going to do is has an action feature hidden here. So you press the button up, as you can see, ooh, a little plastic. As you can see, oh, okay, this thing is stuck. As you can see, the horn comes up for more action, more um, attack action. So that's part of the epic evolution part. And secondly, there is a wheel on top here that you turn. So that's the action feature, kind of weird with the longer neck that it does. So this one, well, I like it like this more, I guess. Uh, it's nice that you get to have a different um, degree of the head, so it's not just stuck in one area. So this one has ball, um, not ball joint. No, no, they don't, it doesn't even open up the hips. So you have the action, um, the articulation wise, it's the basic articulation that you get. The tail doesn't move. And like I said, there's a button up here that you can push. Action feature to me is pretty well, uh, works well. So this is version number one. And then we're gonna take a look at the one I said I'm gonna compare it to is the Dino Rival one that we got towards the end of the line. So this is how big the Triceratops we have been getting used to back in 2019 when these were out. So as you can see, paint was a lot better back then. You can see compare the sizes. So this was a $14, $15 figure, and now this actually went up to $25 now. They were $19.99 for the longest. So here we are. Both pretty similar in color. This one is loosely based off of the one from um, Lost World from Kenner that we never got, that we saw the prototype of. So as you can see, even with the human figure, how much more Triceratops we have gotten for the same price. Uh, not for the same price, but for the, um, for the line. It's good that Mattel heard us that they build a little bigger Triceratops, not necessarily too big of a Triceratops. All right, so let's take a look at the other one that we have. All right, so we have the two to compare, the uh, Habitat Defender that we got this year, which is, I, I believe, honestly, one of my favorite Triceratops we've gotten, because guess what? It's finally as big as it should be compared to this little guy we used to get for Triceratops. So compared to the one we just got right now, this one's a $34 toy. This one is a $24, $25 toy. I think this one actually has way more better in scale, but I think this is a pretty cool toy itself. I like the action feature on it. And even though this one, this one to me seems more naturalistic for like a dinosaur versus this one is more like a, it could be from Chaos Theory. It could be because it's a little cartoony. The, the face, I feel like it's a little cartoony. It's a little, yeah. But the only thing is this does not have a open mouth feature like this one does. And actually the prototype show that it had it at one time. So budget restraint, I feel like it cut off some of it. So there is that compared to the size. And like I said earlier, I don't have the hammer collection on me right now to show you guys the difference so the only thing i have is this guy as you can see the difference in size so we have gotten a better scale at triceratops and the scale actually pretty well if you want to take a look at it with a vehicle this can still do pretty much a lot of damage with this one as you guys can see all right, so let's take a look at version number two, the teal version. All right, so we're gonna take a look at a close look at the teal version, which is exactly same scope as the one before, but this one is at a different color, different type of biome. I mean, the same biome, but different take of the biome. So as you can see, this one has the same almond brown spot as 
the um, gray one that we have, like the same deco along the face. And like I said, this is the second version that we're getting. Um, I'm not sure why there was a running change between the two. It could be they wanted more color. It could be maybe Chaos Theory. That's the color that they have. But it's the same exact scope, same figure. People are finding it now. I got this at Target on sale, actually. So these were actually on sale for $16. Pretty nice. So this has the same action feature as before. Like I said, the horns come up. That's the same action feature. Move the same. Has the same belly paint as the two. So it's the same size, same figure. Um, a lot of people like this one. They feel like this one might be the more rare one at the end, but I feel like there's nothing really truly rare with the Mattel line, minus a few figures. So, you know, if you like this one, get it. If you like the gray one, get that one. But I don't think you necessarily need both unless you're building a herd of Triceratops. But yeah, so this is the second one we got. And then you can, let's take a look at the color and it translates pretty well from the video to the actual toy. It's more jade green almost. And it's painted just the same with the beak and the eyes and everything. We should paint it a little bit more. But yes, so for it to be in the snow mountains, I feel like this fits better for the biome than this guy. But pretty cool. Nevertheless, and let's take, and I believe they share the same dino code. And don't forget, guys, they updated the app where it is Jurassic World Play now. So you collect your dinosaurs there. All right. Thank you for watching, you guys. I hope you enjoyed this review. Like and subscribe. And good luck hunting these. These are being found at Target and Walmart. Um... I have a better luck at Target than Walmart lately, so I got these there. Like I said, they're 30% off now, so they are on sale now. And hopefully, you'll find them before Christmas. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.